The Shaper modifier allows the creation of custom terrain shapes such as islands, archipelagos, drawn shapes and alphabet symbols in addition to custom biomes. The Shaper uses an external 8-bit or preferably a 16-bit grayscale mask to determine the height map shape. 16-bit masks can be easily created in Photoshop or other paint software. Note that Photoshop doesn't actually support true 16-bit grayscale format, but is 15-bit plus 1, so it will still work. If possible, be sure to use the 16-bit grayscale PNG format for the Shaper Modifier's mask. For this tutorial, we are going to use a basic 1024 by 1024 height map and mask. Be sure to create the Shaper mask at the same dimensions as your TerraSculptor height map. In Photoshop, create a new 1024 by 1024, 96 dpi, 16 bit grayscale, black background image. Make sure that the foreground color is white. Select the ellipse tool and draw a 512 by 512 white circle in the center of the image. To apply a random edge to the circle for a nicer looking island mask, we will use the Wave Distort filter. Apply a Gaussian Blur to the shape to obtain a smooth gradient edge for island beaches. Save the image to disk. In TerraSculptor, create a new 1024 by 1024 project. On the Noise Map menu, choose the Gradient Type and select the Eroded Rivers preset. On the Transform menu, choose the Shaper modifier. On the Shaper dialog, click on the Browse button and open the mask file that we previously saved from Photoshop. We now have a nice island shape. The shape amount value is typically left at 100, which is 100%. The overall altitude of the height map can be adjusted with this control from 0% to 200%. If you have used an 8-bit mask, or if the 16-bit mask has a rough gradient on it, causing noise on the height map surface, you can smooth the height map to reduce the noise by using the Gaussian Blur modifier with a size of 2 and a strength of 50.